back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. So if you've been following along in our audio effects series, which by the way is very awesome, I think you should go check it out. Link above, you can go check out that playlist. But if you've been following along, you notice that a lot of the effects have A and B along the top of the effect. And I've told you that you can set settings in A, and then you can click on the B, change the settings, and then you can jump back and forth and see the difference between the two settings. So we're gonna jump into Fairlight here, and I'm gonna show you exactly how they work. We're gonna use Reverb as an example here, but you can do this with a lot of the effects. So let's jump into Resolve and check it out. All right, so I just have a random clip here in my timeline, and uh, we're in the Fairlight tab, so right down here, click on the musical notes if you don't see them. And as I mentioned, we're going to use reverb just as an example here. So you want to come on over to your mixer. If you don't see your mixer, click right up here. Come on down to your mixer. We've got our effects right here. Click on that. You want to come on down to reverb, and we're going to go ahead and add the reverb effect. So here's our reverb effect, and this is the area we want to talk about right here, the A and the B. So as I've mentioned before in our audio effects series, if you click on the A, you can change your settings in the window to be whatever you want. Then you can click on B and change it to something completely different. And this will allow you to toggle back and forth between your two effects to see how it sounds. So I'm just going to use some of the presets that are already here, but you can make any changes that you want on any one of the effects that has this A, B feature. So I'm going to go ahead and click, uh, let's click Cathedral here. And then I'm going to click on B and I'm going to change that to something different. Let's uh, go down to, uh, I don't know, Small Theater. So let's click on A. We're going to play through our clip and see how that sounds. All right, that's way too much. Let's just back that way down. Footage here, trying out a little reverb, showing you the A, B action here in the effects. So there you go. That's how our setting A sounds and our setting B. Now if we play that. Sample footage here, trying out a little reverb, showing you the A, B action here in the... So as you saw, I can even click as it's playing back to change back and forth. Again, this is kind of an extreme example that maybe, you know, you're not going to go from one crazy reverb to another, but it's just to show you how the changes take place. Maybe it's a uh, little subtle things you want to change back and forth. So uh, you can do that with the A, go to the B, change a few settings, and then play them back and forth and see which one sounds better in your clip. So there you go, guys. That is how the A and the B works in all of the effects. It's going to work the same in each effect that you're in that has that A and the B to try things out. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Be sure to check out some more Quick Tip Tuesday videos over there or whatever YouTube suggests down there for you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Everybody still liking Quick Tip Tuesday? I know I like it, but I uh, just want to make sure you guys are liking it. So if there's anything specific you want to see, be sure to leave a comment down below.